So the first thing you'll notice when talking to Joe Peruzzo, he's got a wealth of knowledge when it comes to military planes. This burns 4,000 gallons of fuel an hour. This is where the bomb would be. This can go at Mach 3.2. And that's what you would expect when talking to an executive director of an airplane museum. It is the, the main tourist attraction in Merced County. We draw about 50,000 people a year. This is the Castle Air Museum in Atwater, home to the largest collection of military planes in California. That's what we do, is we save pieces of aviation history. When the Castle Army Air Force Base opened up in 1941, it was a basic flight school. Pilots and crew members trained here during many military conflicts. But over the years, old aircrafts were grounded and eventually a collection of the decommissioned planes were put on display. The Castle Air Museum opened up to the public in 1981. A walk through aviation history. Today, more than 80 planes are spread out over 25 acres, the oldest being this 1938 Douglas B-18 Bolo. It is the only one you'll see with uh, you know, the original nose gun turret. That B-18 looks pretty tiny when you compare it to the Corvair B-36, aka the Peacemaker, which was built to carry a 42,500 pound nuclear bomb. It's the largest nuclear weapon designed to be dropped from an airplane. At one time, the Department of Energy had about 200 of these in the inventory. Feeling a need for speed, you may recognize the F-14 Tomcat from the movie Top Gun. Did Tom Cruise fly in this one? No, no he did not. Well, Tom Cruise didn't ride in this plane either, but the POTUS did. Two sitting presidents for sure, uh, Reagan and Clinton. This is an actual Air Force One VC-9C, and visitors can take a tour inside. It's equipped with all the luxuries and technologies that were used from 1975 to September of 2005. And if you want, you can sit in the president's seat. I kind of wonder at what conversations took place in here. The museum's collection is always growing. This is a piece of history. Some planes fly into the museum, while others come in multiple pieces, and they're reassembled by engineering students from UC Merced and volunteers like Pat Patton, who take great pride in their work. There's people before us that gave their lives. Those are the heroes. We're just here to preserve their memory. History is only a part of the experience at the Castle Air Museum. Many of the volunteers here either flew or worked on these planes, and during the tours, they'll provide you with some personal stories. How, how fast could we get to LA from here? About six and a half minutes. From Castle Air Museum in Atwater, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.